Hey planners, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by for another video. Today's video is a plan with me, um, planning out a planner page. It's the birthday year at a glance that I would like to plan. So if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. Hi, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'd totally appreciate it. Um, okay, so let's get into this plan with me. This is going to be a fun one. It's something different. Maybe you're looking to do the same thing. Um, I love sending out birthday cards and packages to my family back in Texas um, since I have moved. I have no family here. So all my family is in Texas and especially my nieces and nephews. I want to remember to send them a little something so I um, last year I planted all the birthdays in the year at a glance um, this was my catch-all for last year this is a d dashboard classic it was in a be happy box if you're new to my channel hello welcome um, so this is what I used last year um, I have requests to flip through my previous planners and give you guys a little bit about my planning background. So that's soon to come on my channel. Um, so in the year at a glances, these were new this, this year that this came out. I think it was maybe mid spring of 2019. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not really positive, but they were new just recently putting in these pages. And I thought I would use them for birthdays. However, there's tons of other planner babes that have so many ideas um, to track steps, to track uh, meal plans, to track chore charts. Um, you could do verses of the day in this. You could do vacations. Um, I think the other use I used them for was for um, if my kids were absent when they were still before you know COVID happened. That way, I would remember if the school called me, but like you didn't call, you didn't call in for an absence, or I didn't have a note. I had it written it down, um, so I kind of use it for things so I can remember. But I love the birthday idea; it's just really quick and easy. Um, and then also, currently, I'm using it here in my fitness and wellness. If you guys have checked out my um, fraking planning system, this is my catch-all hub for this year and in the in the front of my planner is my fitness and wellness and I do use the yearly at a glance for I track my cycle so I'm not going to really share that but um, that's what I use that one for so I wanted to use the like when I get into my everyday planning which is my mom's and household stuff I kept this one so i want to plan this one out for birthdays because again i just i like to do that send you know family members birthday cards so that way i remember to it actually helps when i go to plan for my currently pages um which i haven't really filled out too much yet because i wanted to get this up but this is my currently pages and it has some of the birthdays that i've written down um so i want to be able to have that prepped and ready and then I've had this for a very long time for all my Erin Condren people out there. If you do watch my channel, if you've used Erin Condren, I used an Erin Condren in between 2014, 2015, and 2016 when I started planning in general. And I had gotten this and I've had this for a very long time. And I've written down some of my family members' birthdays in here and, fr and closest friends. So I have this to reference back to, but I also pulled my planner from last year just in case. Um, so now I'm going to share with you guys some stickers that I think are really great for this because it's, this is a big happy planner, but still it's, it's got like really minimal space to put stickers. Um, but I have some ideas. I have pulled some stickers on wax paper. But I'm going to show you the sticker books. And I think the perfect sticker books for something like this are these petite stickers. Um, you can get these at Happy Planner's website, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby. I don't think I've ever seen these at Michael's. I've um, always picked mine up at Hobby Lobby or uh, Joann's. 
and Happy Planner does have these in the new Disney spring release. I didn't get my hands on those. They are on my wish list, but I wanted to get my, it, I just posted my haul from that spring release order. So definitely check that out if that's something that you're interested in. Um, so anyhow, they do have these in those and you can only get them on the Happy Planner website. So I will eventually have to get those, but these are my absolute favorite. I talk about these a lot. They're one of my top favorite Happy Planner sticker books, but they do say my be me and my big ideas. So I don't really know. I mean, it's the same company. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are awesome. They're my favorite. Um, of course, I do have the Celebrate sticker book. It's all birthday theme related. It does have like some of these smaller black and these black icon clear stickers in here that you could use. Um, where is it? I know I saw it. Here we go. You could use these little celebration icons for this um you could use the confettis and stars that actually is a good idea you could use these flags you could stick some of these birthdays like in the corners and such and just um you could cut it with if you have a um exacto knife so yeah, you could totally do that and then another one I think is really great is this one. It's a seasonal sticker book. Um, it has a lot of cute little icons. Um, there's this page in here that I really like. It's my favorite, and you but you only get one sheet. <laughs> it's this one. These are a little bit smaller than the petite stickers here. The icons are a little bit smaller so these are these are perfect I, I wish that um, this was two sheets but you only get one but I think this one's great because what I did because I was trying to think how am I gonna decorate this because I wanted to decorate this and I wanted to share this idea idea with you guys especially if you're new to planning so I have my wax paper here and I thought this was a little cute um, Sorry, I had to pause the video because I had to let the trash man do his thing and it was really too loud. So while I was gone for a bit, but you didn't know, uh, I grabbed some washi from um, my stash over there. And I think another fun idea is if you have really small washi, I think this is maybe a 3mm. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the Happy Planner um, washi. They have some of the, like the skinnier washi. You could totally use this. It's kind of like a confetti theme. I have a brights and then like a pastel um, print here. Let me share a close up. And then here's the brights. So you could totally use these for decoration. Okay, so what I thought would be fun is that I just pulled stickers that went with the month. So more of a seasonal theme. I thought that was fun. So I have the top row here and then all the way till December. Here, so super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these stickers down. We'll just start with December. Um, I'm trying to think. Oops, where's my sticker? Oh, pulling the wrong row. Um, of like whose birthday's in that month? Okay, November. I don't think I have my grandfather, but he's passed away. His birthday was in December. November is my first baby. His birthday, and then um, my actual first niece. I think is she my first niece? Oh no, no, no! I take that back. <laughs> She's not. I have like a lot of nieces and nephews, but one of my nieces' birthdays is in November. Okay, October. 
fun fact, I was going to name one of my kids October. I love the word October. I love the month of October. So, October is so fun. Um, birthdays in October is husband. And one of my friends from high school. Okay. Focus, Sarah. <laughs> it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Okay, September are two of my nephews. They were born so close together, which was fun for my sister and sister-in-law. I don't think I've ever been through that. Like they got they got to have their pregnancies together and things like that. I I I didn't do have anybody close to me. Let me know if I'm just curious. Did you have someone close to you like a best friend or sister that you were pregnant at the same time they were? <laughs> I think that's kind of fun. Okay, August, um, my stepmom, oh, my little sister, she's like my, my youngest age, we're so far apart, her birthday's in September too, see, this is why I have to write these out, because I am so bad at remembering birthdays, you could also use this for holidays too, But super cute. So I have like Christmas theme. I have like um, November, October with the candy. And all those sticker books came out of these. So I have this one for school. I just picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. I have this one that's Love This Season. So it has all the seasons. Um, and this one. They're actually two different ones. So I think this one was newer that came out. Yeah, 2019, and then this one's the same thing. It just says Seasons, though, and this is 2017, and this is Love Your Selfie. This has a lot of springy stuff and summer-related. It has a backpack that you could use for school for the month of August. This one is super cute. It's very girly and school-related. There's some pet stickers in there. And then this one I actually got because it has banners. I forgot to share. Um, so I think this one does, too. Yeah, okay, cool. Because they're small, you could use the banners in here to decorate. Where are they? Yeah, so you could use banners. Okay, so we have that down. I'm gonna turn the page. Oh, July, everybody in my family, like my brother, my sister, my dad, my grandmother, um, my second baby's birthday's in July. July is crazy. Okay, so here's June. In June, I think it's only my brother-in-law. May is my birthday month. I'm the only May baby <laughs> in the family. <laughs> April is my sister-in-law and my other niece. March is my one of my nephews and my mother-in-law. Ah. I used an umbrella and a four-leaf clover for March. Super cute. I just loved picking out all the icons, so that was fun. Okay, February. Uh, I think my cousin and her baby, they're both in February. And then one of my good friends in Texas, birthday's in February. And then January is one of my nieces. Oh, and my other friend's closest friend from high school's birthday is in April. Um, yeah, so it's all coming back to me. Super cute. I'm glad I'm getting this done. Honestly, I like having this, so when I go to plan 
I remember whose birthdays are what, so I can buy my birthday cards and get those sent out. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and write them in. Well, I should probably decorate and do that last. Okay. Let's see if I can get any flags in here. Or the idea of that. Where could I put that? Or should I use washi? Oh, this would be fun. And this fits perfectly. Cool. I'm going to do that. It's something different. You know, and I can always change it next year if I don't like it. But I'm looking for my exact owner. Oh, here it is. In the drawer. I'll just do this. This looks really cute. It looks like confetti. I probably could just use a washi card too. But I don't know where that is. Okay. You could probably just use a different color too if you wanted to like match the months with the stickers like a theme for each month a color theme or this one's already like color coded so I could have done blue pink green but I thought this would be fun the confetti looking um, washi tape sorry <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had my card because this would be a lot faster than trying to cut this because I can't really see it. Okay, I found my washi cutter. I just use a um, Mickey, Walt Disney World Mickey luggage. I've had this forever. It, it brings me joy because <laughs> it's when we first went to Disney World with the girls when they were little. Oh, I miss them when they're little. Okay. So I put my washi down. I think that's super cute. I like it. And what's cool, other spaces you can work with is that down at the very bottom, you know how some of the months are short, like February, April. I mean, you get a small portion. And I don't know if all the, it just depends on the planner, I guess. Like this one has this little person here. I think I'm gonna cover it up with a balloon and this one I'm gonna cover up with a balloon or a cake. That way it has some extra element for birthdays. You could also decorate here, um, like when I saw the confetti. And with the banners, I don't think I'm gonna use banners, but you could if you don't, ha you don't have that many birthdays to plan and you have extra space. You could put a sweet banner under s someone's name. Maybe just, um, like the people in your household. Like I'm thinking about putting something, like a little hat or something next to my family members. Um, that way I know the, the day in each month. But hopefully that makes sense. Like you could add an extra icon. Ooh, there's some confetti stickers in here you could add in the spine or up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and add this, let's see, I probably have to cut it up and stuff. Yeah, so I'll just cut this. Um, Try not to get it in the, you know, the little disc area punch. Oh. I'm 
mean, this already looks like confetti. Whatever is going on right there. And then I can cut that. star there. There. Okay, let's find a balloon. And then I'll do that in a minute. I should probably take the pages out to decorate this because it's kind of hard in my planner. Let's look for some balloons or you could use a quote sticker. These are so fun. Probably want a paper sticker. The balloons. I haven't used this too much. Can use that one. Is that the only paper balloon stickers? I have the hardest time flipping through sticker books. My hands have no grip. I get like that at the grocery store with the bags. I have to like sanitize my hands just to grip the bags. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, this is it, really? My hands are so dry, I guess. And it doesn't cover her. Who? What the heck? <laughs> oh, let's see. What am I going to do? I really want a balloon there. Do I have to use a party hat? And then use cake. Or can I use a balloon? Covering that little dog, he's so cute. <laughs> and do I have a present or the cake? There's a cake. still showing. And I cannot think off the top of my head where there's presents. Package presents. That's paper. These are clear stickers. I have the tiny sticker book, but I really think those are clear. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave him there and I'll figure that out later. So let me take this out so I can to cut this part. There. Let me just put some white out over that dog so I can find something to cover that.
Okay. Let's figure out this side. I have this teacher book. I don't know if this has any birthday stuff in it. Leave in the comments down below if you guys know off the top of your head where I can get other birthday theme related stickers um, for another time. <laughs> so I'm not really sure if there's another one, but I guess I could use a quote besides this one. Celebrate. This is June. That's, that's going to take up too much space. Probably just use another party hat. Um, you know what? Let me check my organizer. I always forget about using this thing. Maybe those are from the teacher book I pulled out of or a student book. More balloons, but they're clear. Okay. Yay, we have a winner, a sticker that fits. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to remember to use this. I wanted, I don't know if you guys have seen Michelle plan on it. She has this wonderful video of like, she made this notes of where she can find all these stickers. I think it was like in a happy notes or something. I love that idea. I totally need to do that. Um, Michelle plan on it. I will put her name in the video but she's awesome you probably already follow her um she was on squad with my term 2019 okay cute i was thinking if i should use a hat or something on top of it but i'm probably just wasting time okay Now I'm going to put everyone's birthdays in and then finish up this midsection so it'll kind of match. Okay, friends, I have finished completing my birthday year at a glance plans. I am so happy that I got this done. Um, I placed everyone's names in there and then for the flags, I decided to um, split them up amongst um, you know, my family and the household. And then also what I added is anniversaries of my siblings um, on sticky notes. So I have my sister, my brother, my parents. Of course, ours is in February. And then also I put sticky notes on birthdays that I wanted to confirm. Um, so you could also do that in case you wanna confirm the date before you write it in and, or you could use erasable pens. Um, the friction pins, you could do that. And I decided to change the middle part up. I took those confettis out because they were just a little, the color was um, not flowing the way I'd like it. The colors were just too dark. And I figured I would just use these as confetti because I don't know what this is here, but it does change color. So I added the black and white little icons from this sticker book. And I think that looks cute. I added a hat in this section down here and then I added my cats from this sticker book I could easily cut this but I like his tail there even though it's a clear sticker and you can see right through it 
with the confetti, but it's okay. This is supposed to be a cute reference page. And then another cat down here for my other cat. Uh, it came out of the same sticker book. So you could also add your pets. How cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little plan with me on how uh, maybe an option to use the year at a glance. And I think these are really great sticker books to start with. Definitely pull some out on wax paper before you get started. And yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy planning. Bye.